The sleepover movie was the best Bratz movie in the world, and I will die on that hill. Can y'all shut up, please? We're doing something over here. We're doing something. There's like a ton of cops. Um, someone die? Someone died. They might find a body. Welcome, welcome to another episode. Episode 10. Ep bow, 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 bow. A sound effects insert here. Uh, where are we, Casper, for our 10th episode? Am I allowed to say the location? What? Without doxing ourselves? We've already doxed ourselves. Without, We're at um, Tempe Beach Park. Tempe Beach Park in uh, Tempe, Arizona. Right next to, uh, well, no, where we are in the ASU campus. Is this the campus area? You know what's crazy? What's up? There's an airport about a mile away from us. No, so yeah. So that might happen a lot. Um, we'll be having a lot of airplanes passing by us, but we are, this is in the ASU campus. And we have a sign made by Florence themselves. The wonderful Florence, who is behind the camera right now. Our, um, our amazing camera, camera operator. Say hi. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Florence, they're an ally. Say, say something, Florence. <laughs> <laughs> but we are out here. Um, a first impressions, Casper, for our 10th episode out here. It's hotter than a motherfucker. It it's is it is kind of hot but not gonna lie it's feeling a lot more better now that we got everything set up and situated it's shady and windy and quite, quite nice um there's not a lot of people well, there's no one out here i could count how many people that are out here right now which is four i can't count that high personally but i do see no people <laughs> but um we are hoping somebody comes it is on a tuesday we are recording this on a weekday and I did realize um, ASU, I think it just finished, right? All classes finished. I'm pretty sure, yeah. It's summer break now, so everyone's either back home or um, not outside because it's Tuesday working. And also it's hot. Back home, like people travel out of state to come to ASU. No, yeah, it's it's really popular, ASU. For what? Parties. <laughs> it's a party All school. Right. Um, but we are out here. Um, everything's pretty nice, though. It's calm, quiet, luxurious. What he said. And um, let let's start off with uh, what happened. Why were we gone for so much? I counted it. I think it was two or three weeks without. We missed like two weeks we of upload. We recorded the the week before we left, right? Yeah, the week before we went on a hiatus. And that was two weeks ago, so this would, yeah, two weeks. We've been gone for two weeks. Uh, you wanna give the audience an insight in what was happening? And, I will, um, uh, I'll delve into our personal lives. Um, so I recently had a baby. <laughs> <laughs> I kid. Um, I think we mentioned the last episode we went to the disney event in california and it was a blast short fun i well we all got lost <laughs> from each other because there was a crowd and um people got pushed and shoved and i found my way halfway across the place um with my phone dead um then i proceeded to lose that phone it's i have it now it got shipped to me Disney found it immediately. It was a very stressful. Mo it was it was kind of stressful, kind of wild. A lot was going on that whole trip, I think. But it all worked out in the end. Everything always. Does. Renee was much more stressed out than I am. He turns to me in the Uber and he goes, "Why am I more stressed out about you losing your phone than you are?" And I said, "Because when I lose things, it always works out for me." And it did. He, Casper found his phone immediately. Yeah, not not even once we cut, came back home, came back to Arizona, in the Uber, he got oh I got no uh, he got a notification that his phone was found mm -hmm. from Disney. Because Florence, um, the best vibes they are. Let me use their phone to report it missing. It happened so fast. They found it so fast. They did. 
I was not expecting it. And it was amazing that they found it at Disney. If it was found by Uber drivers or anyone else, they would not ship it. You would have to spend money to ship it back home. Yeah, also they might have, they could have just stolen it. Like the first Uber that we called, um, cause we had to take two Ubers. I said, separate story after this one. Um, we had to take two Ubers and the first Uber, like we called him and he said he pulled over to like the side of the road and was like, I don't see it back here, which I just took his word for it. He seemed really cool. So I didn't think that he would steal it cause I like to see the good in people, mm. except for children. Except for children. Because they're evil and nasty. You know what I noticed? We didn't see that many children at Disney. Good. It would, I would have Anakin the asses. <laughs> but uh, it all worked out. And we also called that one other, the another Uber driver that didn't answer their phone. Yeah, Eric. M- multiple times. The day of, we you lost it, and even the morning after, and the afternoon. Yeah, we called him, and um, no response. Not even like a... I don't know how Uber works, but I left the callback number and no callback, which I don't think that's how Uber works. But if anyone knows how Uber works, comment down below. We spent two hundred dollars to uh, <laughs> to go from one airport to another. Let's let's delve into this. So <laughs> because my phone was dead and presumed dead, um, we had to use Florence's phone for for Uber. And for some reason, Florence's phone and Uber did not get along too well. The first time, took us to a different hotel after Disney. It was 10 minutes away from our actual hotel. Not an issue, right? The second time, that second time, we were going to the airport. It was our last day. We're sitting there at the Garden Park. Garden Park? Garden Park. Yeah. Um, and Florence says the price for said Uber. And And I'm thinking like, maybe that's a little high, higher than the price we paid to leave the airport, but maybe the Ubers are just more expensive to airports. So I didn't say anything, I didn't care. Um, We get in the Uber, it was like a 10 to 15 minute drive, right Florence? That's what it said. Florence doesn't know. I'm gonna go ahead and say that was that for uh, continuity purposes. Um, We're in the back talking, planning our next trip to Cali next year. So we don't think about how long this drive is. Then we sort of died down. I look out my window, this looks new. I turn to Renee, I'm like, this drive seems a little too long. And then we get there. Mm-hmm. And then we're at the LAX airport, which is like three cities away. Three or four cities away from the actual airport. Papa Squat. Um, so yeah, and we were like, it was like five, 5.45 when we got to that airport and our plane leaves at 6.30. So we had to book it to the next, to our back to our, air, our airport. So Renee dropped $200 to get us back there. First drive, first time any of us were ever in a Tesla though. Yeah, that's a, that's a good way to look at it. There was no other option though. We didn't just spend $200 because we wanted to. We had to spend $200 because that was the only option to get to the other airport. That was also the cheapest Uber back to the airport. Yeah, that was the cheapest Uber, 200. LAX, um, don't ever, don't go to LAX because I feel like it was only expensive because it was at LAX. Yeah, I probably. I feel like that's probably true. No, we were yeah, no, we were like little, little, we were far. We were literally three or four cities away from where we were supposed to be, and we didn't even realize. Also, our Uber driver, the one who picked us up from LAX, he started talking to us, and like he was super chill because we didn't know where we were. Um, so he like he like came to us in the arrival point instead of like the departure point where he should have picked us up at. So he was super chill, and then he tried talking to us, but he could tell that none of us were in the mood to talk at all. So he just sort of stopped talking. It was the funniest thing in the world. And at some point, he was driving like 75 on the freeway, which I don't recommend speeding. But when you're in a hurry, I was like, crank that shit up to 80. Now. Yeah. I was watching on his phone. Like, I was looking on the side, the, the off his shoulder, because I could see his phone on the on the dashboard, and I was looking at the minutes and looking back at my phone to see what time it was and how many minutes we'll get there. Yeah, I was like, okay, I'm like, I'm like, okay, we're gonna get there at like 6:25. We'll have five minutes. We we'll rush and maybe we can make it. No, we did not make it. Spoiler <laughs> alert. <laughs> we didn't make it. First time spending overnight at an airport, by the way. It was all the all the hotels near there were so expensive for just one night, like three hundred dollars. That's too much for any night, any amount of nights. Maybe I'm just frugal. No, that's overpriced. Normal okay. normal hotel prices per night is like. 70 to a hundred dollars 
Yeah, because the one that we stay at when we go to like San Diego on the beach, it's on the beach. That's like uh, two something a night, I think. But it's on the beach. Yeah. So like a reason for it to be a little more pricey. These hotels are just next to the airport. <laughs> Why are they so expensive? I guess because they're next to the airport. That's the only reason. Let's look at your view. Planes. Planes. The loud planes going by. Um, it was also my first flight ever. So um, I got detained the first time on our way to California because I had the smallest amount of water still in my water bottle. Um, and then I got detained the second time, leaving California the next day after sleeping there um, because my ticket did not match my ID. But the lady who swapped our flights, shout out to you because you were a bestie. You were so cool. Shout out. She don't listen to this. What if she does? What if she eventually listens to this? She's our one fan. She's our one California listener. She won't even remember us. <laughs> She'll always remember me. I make a lot. I make like a life lasting. What did you do that was life changing to her that day? Simply talk to her. <laughs> Simply exist in her presence. Treating her like a human being. Literally. <laughs> I told my mom. I was like, everyone was so nice in the airport. She said, "Huh." People were like, they made it seem like it was like, gonna be the, the DMV of flying. And everyone was so nice to me. Yeah, people were nice at the airport. I was surprised. She doesn't listen to this podcast. Maybe, maybe um, people working at the airport just don't like older people. Well, who does? Do you like old That's people? True. I don't like old people. I feel like uh, my time working at fast food made me dislike older people. Why? There, there were always the people with the attitudes coming in. Like even before, I know there, there's going to be some people defending them, saying, "Oh, but you probably messed up or something." No, even before they they walked in that door, the moment I talked to them, the moment I took their order, they had an attitude. I'm so glad I never had to deal with customers. Don't. Don't ever get a job like that. I have a pretty good situation going on right now, so I probably won't need a job like that. Ever. Anyone listening, don't ever get a job in fast food. Fast food was a big mistake of mine. I only did it because my sister was doing it. And I thought she was doing it for seven years, so I was like, oh, it must have been good if she's been there for seven years. That sucks. Dang, you were right. It is hot out here. For anyone listening to the audio version of our podcast, uh, our camera just uh, turned off because it was overheating. Because it's 4 million degrees out here. Because it's too hot out here. And any motherfucker who says, oh, but Arizona's a dry heat. You're not, like, humid. I'm still wet because I'm sweating. (laughs) So... I don't want to hear it. I'm being for real. Turn that camera on me right now. I'm being fucking for real. Okay. That's all I had to say about that. We are going to switch to my phone camera to see uh, for continuing the footage. Um, you see here our poster. But um, dang, I I was not expecting the camera to turn off so quickly. Or to turn it off. We we're only in like fifteen minutes. Yeah, that that, that thing died real quick. Well, it did not die. It overheated. It died. It, it overheated. O- it passed out. It <laughs> overheated. Yeah. It succumbed to heat stroke. Uh, but that's how, what ha- happened uh, for my trip. Was that the last thing we talked about? Our trip? Yeah, that was the the gist of it. Um, check out uh, fucking underscore bug underscore eyes at instagram.com for pictures that will be posted at some point. Oh, yeah, I have the pictures too. I gotta make a post about that. I haven't uploaded any, I haven't posted anything on my Instagram for two years now. You don't post about your life. Like, you, you don't like, you don't like take pictures <laughs> of your life. I keep my life hidden. It's gonna be years from now and I'm gonna regret it. I can already tell. Why? Cause I, I'm not document. It's hard for me to document things. I just forget, you know. I don't really think about playing my camera or taking videos or re- pictures. That's fair. And I feel like in the future I'm gonna regret it. I'm, I'm gonna be like, wow, I'm remembering these things, or I'm talking to someone about these events that happened, and I don't have pictures to pull up to remember them. You know, all I have is my memories. 
even that's then, like even, even far in the future, I might lose or lose those memories. That's the one main, like one of the biggest reasons I take pictures is because if I ever don't remember things, I could maybe look back on them and be like, hey, this might have been a fun time. Yeah, like I see myself right there and I may not remember that, but I look like I was having fun. You know, it's kind of depressing to think about, but um, <laughs> my old ass forget for something like, damn, body issues back at it again. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only thing that comes back to your mind. <laughs> like, not the fact that like, like, oh my gosh, that was like, like an amazing time. That was such a good like birthday party. No, it was like, damn, I look really big in that picture. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, but that's a that's a good um defense. That's a good um reason to document things anywhere you go or maybe not anywhere you go but the fun things you're doing make sure to to take pictures and to record um i know boomers like to say how we're people are always especially the younger generations are always stuck on their phones taking pictures and recording stuff or even at concerts taking pictures and recording stuff but honestly i say that's a good thing to remember them by you don't always have to be in the moment because sometimes you might regret not documenting you being in the moment i agree if my eyes could catch a visual of what they were seeing i would have like if it was like an implant <laughs> what if my <laughs> eyes <laughs> you know what if listen, i could see <laughs> listen if i had like an implant to like take screenshots basically of what i was seeing live and it like came out as good as i was seeing it or maybe even a little bit better you i would I put the chip in your head. I would absolutely put the chip in my head. I would do that, but for music. What flavor? What flavor? Cool Ranch? <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah, me too. I really like Cool Ranch. <laughs> but if I were to put a chip in my head, I think the thing I would only do it is if I could play music without putting headphones on. Like, I'll just hear it in my head. Like not through your ears but like in like a thought because because you know when you have a music stuck in your head and you hear it in your head stuck in repeat mm -hmm. i want something like that but the full song not just a verse yeah actually that would actually be, i feel like that'd be useful because then you could just like if you do get a song stuck in your head you could just dial up that song really quick you know dial up a fucking, <laughs> fucking road, road on phone or whatever it's called rotary phone thank you camera operator florence that's your full legal government name now. I've personally, Comrade. you've changed it, and I'm personally changing it again. Camera operator Florence. What? What'd you say? Two hundred dollars. Three. That's how much it costs to change your name. Three hundred dollars. Put put that camera to me real quick. Really? Three hundred dollars to change your name? That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my life. No, I think that should be free too. Changing your name? Yeah. I think I think everyone should get at least one free name change. <laughs> After then you pay for it. If PlayStation can do it, <laughs> the government can too. <laughs> After that it's like five ninety nine. <laughs> <laughs> can you change your name back though? Oh I'm You just have to pay for it again? You can't change it back for free? You can't change it back for free? What? I mean, not that you would. I think once you change your name, you're changing it for a reason. But like, but what if you want to like change it just for fun? Back to your name. Just for fun, just for shits and giggles. Yeah. <laughs> you get a little too tipsy. You're like, oh, you don't be crazy right now. If I just change my name again, back to what it was. <sighs> what, you would change your name, huh? Would you change your name? No, I, I love my name. I've been bullied my entire life for my name. Um. One time in Spanish class in sophomore year, sophomore year, um, my teacher said my name, and some kid was like, "Who the fuck would name their kid Casper?" And I was like, "My parents." Well, what was their name? Some white ass name like Josh or some shit. Alex, Abraham. Are these white names? Yeah. Who? Ben. ben. That dog. What the dog doing? Would you um, change your name? No, I like my name. I think I, I think I started to like my name after one of my teachers in college said, "Wow, that's such a unique name." Like, I could imagine that name being on like 
some poster. Like she was really, oh. she was really hyping up my name, like your full name no, or like, no, yeah, like my full name, yeah, first and last, first and last names, both of my last names. Damn. But she was really hyping it up, and I was like, wow, I never saw it th my name that way. Cause I, I don't know, I was like, I was kind of thinking, I was like, I don't know how I feel about my name. My name's like, it's not really that common, and I think that's weird that it's not that common. But no, she she hyped it up, and ever since then, I'm start I've started to meet more people, more uh, more guys with the same name as oh. me. It's kind of crazy because it's like I never met anyone with the same name with me as me. The full name? Not, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's just you they, and different. They also looked like me, a little too close, a little too similar, like me. No, but I I do like my name. Before, um, yeah, I would have changed my name. I really like the I re really, I really like the name Richie. That makes so much sense for your character. <laughs> but now I'm I'm good with sticking with my name. Did you know? What? You probably didn't. Fun fact. Fun Are fact. You? Yeah, fun fact with Casper. Um my name was almost Alexander. Alexander? Yup. Would you have gone by anything short if that was your name? I would have just gone by the fucking great. <laughs> I hear a kid. Where is it? I think it's a grass adult. <gasps> oh, it's the police on a boat. Um, I was gonna say about names. Like, when Florence changed their name, very easy to switch over to. If you change your name to Richie, I would have had a very hard time. Mostly because I personally don't like the name. You don't like the name Richie? Nope. I would have spelled it R I T C H I E. R I T C H M I C K E Y M O U S C. Also, because I think. Oh no, that was her last name. Never mind. <laughs> the last name was Richie. I don't know how this friend. She looks like a brat stall. Yeah. What? She, I mean, for my mom has this friend. She looks like a brat stall. Oh. Like. Because that was the look back then. It was the look. The brat stall were the look. They were the, they were the icon. They were the moment. People it's, didn't like them. I love. I I watched the sleepover movie. The sleepover movie was the best brats movie in the world, and I will die on that hill. Can y'all shut up, please? We're doing something over here. We're doing something. There's like a ton of cops. Um, oh, you could show them too. Did someone die? Did someone die? Sorry, I don't know why I'm so excited about that. <laughs> Wait. Can you cut that? No, cause it's it's at a lake too. They might find a body. Okay, I saw a name topic. Um, if you could change my name, what would you oh, change I'm it to? I'm changing your name. Yeah, what would you change it to? Like knowing me as a person, like what I look like, how I act, and everything. What would you oh, change it to? Oh, we're going based off those. What would you oh base it off of? I, I didn't. What? My name? No. Like, what would you be, like? What would you base it off of if you were gonna change the name? If I was gonna change my name, or you know, change my name. Change your name. I feel like I'll keep it something like similar, like either with the letters. As your name. If you say Jasper, I'm, I'm walking away right Jasper? now. I'm walking away right the fuck now. I might drop it. Let's say, away. let's say if I were, how would you feel vocally about what? If your name was Jasper. Can you insert that? Uh, that, uh, that, uh, ah! <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I would give you, um, uh, you know, I just can't imagine. Casper with a C. <laughs> I'm walking off set. That's, that's too crazy. Don't, don't go there. That's too crazy. I would have been a very different person if my name was Alexander. Alexander? No, I feel like you, you'll be very prideful. I would have been straight. Oh. <laughs> is, it, is, it, is it on the name? It's on the name. Depending how your child comes out. <laughs> yeah. What makes the name? Is that how the quote goes? What makes a name? From Marie and Juliet. Something about a rose, something about your name, your mama, Joe. A Casper by any other name is still a, still a homosexual. So. <laughs> a Casper by any other name is still a homosexual. I'm tweeting that. My name was gonna, um, I think my name was gonna be Jason. They were thinking about naming that. How would you have felt 
Oh, look. I'm wearing you on my shirt. That was gonna be me. Were you also gonna kill campers? I would've known. My name's changed. <laughs> my, I don't have that name. So if I was in Alexander, I would've been straight. If you would've been named Jason, you would've went on a killing spree. <laughs> we need... I wonder if there's research done on that. If people with the name Jason are murderers after the movie came out. I like, was... How many Jasons are there are murderers compared to not being murderers? I have a cousin named Freddy. Your family's going for the whole <laughs> the whole uh, movie list. The whole murderers. <laughs> You're going to get a cousin named a fucking Pinhead. <laughs> pinhead? Those? Name all their kids after and just call them like the Cenobites. The Cenobites? Oh, Gremlins. Gremlins? Yeah. Gizmo. I always like the name Gizmo. You should change your name to Gizmo. I would not change <laughs> my name to Gizmo. I would not name a human being Gizmo. I, I name a dog Gizmo. I'll name a dog Gizmo. Why? Why a cat? Name a cat or a crusty white dog Gizmo. Why? 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 Who says those rules? Gizmo or Gidget, both of those. Gidget, I agree with, but why Gizmo? Gizmo is for a dog. I feel like they're not wrong. I feel like you're speaking out of personal preference. Not preference, experience. I feel like you only know people who, uh... It's been white. I think you only know white people. That's why I don't I like fuck with white people. We are, ca we are capturing a crime scene now. Oh, they got like two different boats out there. Anyone listening to the audio version? Um, right across from us, there's a lake, and there is multiple, or there's one ambulance, one fire truck, and multiple police. There's someone in the water down there. You see their head turning? No, I do see their head. Well, I don't know. I don't know if it's a person or. No, that's a per that's gotta be a person. Um, multiple police and three boats they came out with three boats outside and what looks to appear appear to be someone someone's head poking out of the water in the lake with two boats surrounding them this is Catherine van heis live on the scene with two boats five feet apart we're here at tevi beach park someone died no can you imagine though can you imagine if something actually did happen there and we are seeing on like those youtube documentaries about crime and they're like this is this was the only footage recorded from this podcast i we'd get we yes yeah we'll talk about it For what, what would you do florence our camera reporter is now getting a closer look at the scene um i would love it because i mean we'd be I really like it because I don't know that's so cool you know like I've, you're recording something on accident something that serious I've also always wanted to be in a documentary like that I'm not standing up because one my butt is uncomfortable and two I want a better look at this Florence is just no they're helping someone up from the from the river they're gonna see Florence recording and be like, um, can you not do that? Please? It's probably someone who fell from one of those boats. Cause um, here, right next to us, there is a boat rental spot. And Florence is coming back. We are back to our uh, regular scheduled program. Back to you in the studio, Renee. We should be, we should be news reporters. What if? What if we have a segment, like a, a separate one from our podcast, where we just walk around the cities and like report news what's and going report on? what's going on in those cities? Yeah, were they um okay? Hey, they're all right. They're okay. They're okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> all right. Okay. <laughs> Everything's all good. The person, there was someone in the water, and it seems to be they're okay now. They are. They have been rescued. The rescue team is on site. Um. Anyways, enough about that. Yeah. They. They. They're not playing games today. I remember one time. <laughs> 
I remember uh-huh. one time I went to a park as a little kid and they had a, a gazebo right next to the lake and they had a chain around the gazebo and I was playing around that chain as a kid and I fell into the lake and I, had, I couldn't swim at all and it was pretty deep and these three random people came and saved me which I'm super glad but very traumatic I have a question I, for I still you. can't swim to this oh. day Never mind. That's that, your question. That was my question. <laughs> I like that your takeaway was next time I'm drowning, those same three people will be there again. So I don't need to learn how to swim. What if they were never there to begin with? You think you have three guardian angels <laughs> and I have a fucking, nar- I'm narcissistic. <laughs> <laughs> but it was wild. They saved me. Um, it was at some kid's birthday party, but... I was fine after that though. I was I was kind of sh- I was kind of shook, kind of um, shocked, shooked, shocked. Were you there for the party? Yeah, I was there for the party. You said this needs to be about me, and then threw yourself in the water. <laughs> <laughs> but all I remember is after that event, I went sat back down, and I was kind of traumatized and just sat there. Even though my mom was like, oh, you should go play with the kids. They're still playing. And I was like, no, I'm okay standing right here. I eventually did play with them, though. So I was better. I recovered mentally. Mentally. Just not physically, because you still never learn how to swim. Not physically. I still don't. Yeah, I still don't know how to swim. Because there's no pools around here. I don't ever go to a pool. I don't ever go swimming. I... I want to go swimming so bad. I also want to go swimming. Let's go. Uh, I don't think we can go to this lake though. They just saved someone. <laughs> oh yeah, it's probably nasty. They saved someone. Us three just died back in. Oh, so good. I'm going back in. <laughs> so this is so good. <laughs> um, it oh. is now. Uh, what time is it? Can't. Uh, time check. Time check. Three fifty-seven. So, we have been here for an hour now. Tempe Beach Park, Arizona. And that chair's been empty the entire time. That chair. Yeah, there hasn't been a lot of people. A lot of people not wanting to come here. Do you think we could get an interview with the person who was drowned? Uh, yeah, if we could uh, make it. Maybe they can swim back over here. <laughs> can you guys save him over here? Yeah. There's a dog. Can you guys park over here, please? I don't need to get a report. Um, can I take it back like seven conversations really quick? Yeah. When you were talking about songs stuck in your head. You know what song is stuck in my head right now? What song? As I assume everyone has been watching Stranger Things season four. I have not finished it. I am on episode four or five. Um, so the song from Stranger Things and it's also all over TikTok. I forgot what it's called. Um, it's been stuck in my head. Oh, running up that hill? Yup. Jane Jane Foster, I think we're called. Stuck in my head for like the past three days. And I've been listening to it on repeat. I added it to uh, my Angels playlist. Mm. Because I like, could not get it out of my head. And also my and Chris's playlist. You know, the first time I heard that song was a cover of it. And it was for... Um it was used for promotion for a WWE match between Shawn Michaels and The Undertaker. And it was kind of emotional, not gonna lie. That was the first time I heard that song. So every time I hear it now, I don't think Stranger Things. I think about WWE. It's very much in character for you. <laughs> but it was a cover for it. I think of WWE. I think of the cover. And then do the do the scene from WWE with the song from Stranger Things. <laughs> Those both are very different. The cover one is more like the best way I describe it is more depressing and slower, while the Stranger Things ones is more upbeat. The WWE one was slow and depressing. Yeah, because it was it was an emotional match. It was like um, if the if if uh, if Shawn Michaels were to lose, he would have retired. He would not fight did anymore. He, lose? He, would, he did lose. Did he retire? He did retire. I think he eventually came back, though. They all do. When's The Rock coming back? <laughs> the Rock. He's too busy making movies. 
I hate WWE. I was never a WWE person. Really? I, however, the Netflix adaptation of Glow, Women of Wrestling, I'll watch. Men, I don't care about. I think this is a lot about my character. Do you hate men? I, I don't hate men. I just um, prefer seeing strong women-led stories. Mm. Because that's just who I look up to. Women? Yes. Oh, so, Casper, um, we have been here now for, what, like an hour and 30 minutes? Maybe. Hour and um, 30 minutes. Um, update from the people count. We are, there is five people. We've increased by one since the last time I counted them. Uh, any, uh, what's, what's your uh, takeaway right now? So far, within hour and 30. Um, I'm still hot. And I only got like 45 minutes of sleep. But I'm having a good time. This is fun. I mean, something intense did happen. This is true. Something did happen while we were here. We were planning on that. We were planning on that? Yeah. Not, yeah. Not planning, but... Something something happened. To make a long story short, I put a whole bag of jelly beans up my ass. Something's in my... Um... And, um... What, what would you, uh... What's your takeaway from today? From today? Yeah. Um, All of today, since you woke up. Since you woke up to this moment. Oh, I've been awake since 6 in the morning. Um, let's see. What was my takeaway? Um, Prime Video, The Boys. Crazy ass show. Been watching season 3. Um, Dinosaurs and Pokemon, still my shit. Um, will always be my shit. And everyone who watches our podcast sucks ass. I'll say it. Cut that out. I won't say it. Wow. You're not gonna. Um, what? I like everyone who's listening to this podcast. Thank you so much for listening <laughs> to this podcast. <laughs> so, Casper, you have any? Uh, what What would you uh, tell people? What would you recommend if anyone wants to go out on a very hot day? Drink water. Drink your water, kids. Look at this right here. Ready? Hold on. Oh. Can I get that? Can you get that? Yeah, a little bit. Cool. Yeah, drink your fucking water, kids. Drink your water. It's out, it's all hot hot out here. If uh my camera couldn't make it, I don't think you can make it without water. <laughs> if your ca- if your camera couldn't make it without water. <laughs> make sure to do that. Stay indoors if you can. Um Stay in the shade. The shade's nice. Stay in the shade. This is our tenth episode. 10 big 10 ones. Can you imagine going up this far? Going this far? No. We went all the way. We went all the way to the 10th one. And more to come. Season 2 is out. Cut it right there. Once 11th. What does that mean? When's the 11th one? Oh, I thought you said once 11th. I was like, what kind of riddle? <laughs> I was like, to find out season 2, solve my riddle 3. But, uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. We haven't had anyone approach us, sadly, but we would continue. We will, We are planning to continue more of this going out in public, a variety of places, not just Tempe uh, Beach Park again. Um, in Arizona, specifically Phoenix, Arizona, not travel too far from the state or the city. We should do out of state things. We should once we have the money. Ooh, I'll go to state and I'll be like, this is Casper Van High, it's hot on the scene. And I'll be like, back to you in the studio. And then at that point, we'll actually have a studio, maybe. So. Whenever that will be. Yeah. And it'll just be my basement. <laughs> my basement. But thank you very much for watching. Casper, any last words to the audience out there? To the internet? To the haters? To the lovers? To the neutrals? Um, to the lovers, I love you back. To the haters, I love you back. To the neutrals, hi Switzerland. And we'll see you on the next one. Peace. Are you still recording? Yeah. That right there is a hand motion.